With the skeleton in place and the geometry properly scanned to the skeleton, it is now time to rig your character. Unlike automated systems like Biped or CAT, here you need to do the work manually. This includes setting up IK chains, adding helpers to manipulate the skeleton, and ultimately adding custom attributes to simplify the animation process. You'll start with the left foot, but keep in mind that the workflow shown here is by no means the only way to rig a foot. You start with the IK chains that drive the behavior of the left foot. There are no shortcuts or symmetry tools to rig left and right limbs, so what you learn to do on one foot, you'll need to reproduce on the other. Hide the geometry category before moving on. You won't need to see the character's mesh for a while. You can also hide the mesh layer if you prefer that technique. Unhide the IK-FK bones on the arms by using Unhide All. This may be a good time to view the scene in wireframe mode by using F3. Zoom in on the left leg and adjust your point of view. You will need three IK solvers to control the behavior of the left foot. Select the foot and then choose Animation, IK Solvers, HI Solver, and then point and click the left thigh. A new IK chain is created that you can manipulate to drive the heel. The gizmo you manipulate is referred to as an IK goal. Rename it Zombie Left Heel IK Goal. Repeat the procedure to create another IK chain between the heel and the ball of the foot. Rename the new IK goal Zombie Left Ball IK Goal. Create a third chain between the ball of the foot and the toe tip. Rename the goal Zombie Left Toe IK Goal. These newly created IK goals are needed to manipulate the foot. However, your work is not done yet. You still need to introduce more help into the system. The next step involves the introduction of four helper objects to help with the setup. You will be using point helpers as they are easier to resize than dummies. You will need four point helpers, each with a specific task. These tasks will become clear once you make the connections between IK goals and point helpers. But first, you need to create them. Create a point helper in the scene. Set it in box mode only, and set its size to 4. Rename it Zombie Left Heel Peel Help. Align it to the ball of the left foot, pivot to pivot, in position and orientation modes. Make sure you align it to the bone and not to the IK goal. This way, it will be oriented the same as the bone and so favors the local Z axis as a primary rotation. Looking at it from the left view, it is slightly angled. You can leave it like that, but if you prefer a cleaner look, you can adjust the angle slightly. More importantly, it's still generally oriented the same way as the bone, with the local Z axis as a primary rotation axis. Use Shift Move to make a clone of the point helper. Make sure it's set to Copy and name it Zombie Left Heel Helper. Align it to the heel bone but only in position. This works better visually and the Z-axis is still oriented in the correct direction. Use Shift Move again to make another clone in Copy mode and name it Zombie Left Toe Lift Help. Align it to the toe nub in position XYZ only. Select the zombie left heel peel helper again 
and make another copy, this time using Edit Clone. Make sure you are set in copy mode and name the clone Zombie Left Toe Tap Help. In the Modify panel, set its size to be slightly larger, a value of 5 should be adequate. The position of the toe tip and heel helpers still need a bit of adjusting. You'll need to temporarily unhide the geometry to help you with that task. Go to a side view, such as left. Display the grid by using the G toggle. And select the heel helper. Set its Z position to zero so it's level with the ground. Move it back on the X axis so it's located at the back of the foot. This helper will eventually act as a pivot point for the heel rotation. Similarly, select the toe tip helper and set its Z position to zero. If you need to, adjust its X position so that it is at the shoe tip. This will act as a rotation base for when the toes are in contact with the ground. Leave the other two helpers where you previously placed them. As a side note, Notice how the different object types have different suffixes. Bone for bone objects, HLP for helpers, and IK goal for IK solutions. This is all part of scene management to make objects easier to identify. Speaking of which, you may want to go to the layers toolbar and freeze the mesh layer again. This way, you can still see the geometry, but you won't be able to select it, making the selection of helpers and goals easier. You're now ready to make the proper connections and hierarchies between the IK goals and point helpers. This is what you will do in the next movie.